Day one of the Pac-12 Women's Lacrosse Tournament is in the books, and what a quarterfinal round it was. The home team moving on, and so is a team that maybe not many would have picked to make the semifinals. Let's take you through the day. Troy Clarity and Kara Lynch here. In the first game, it was Oregon versus Colorado. The Ducks, the five seed, had never beaten the Buffs ever until today. A 9-0 second quarter run for Oregon, a big reason why. Morgan McCarthy was outstanding on the day, had four goals in the game and had seven draw controls, a player that has an ability to get it done in every inch of the field, being able to help her team on the attack and really drill it home on her shots. And likewise, on the defensive side of things, Cassidy Eckert was definitely a standout here for this Oregon team. Meanwhile, Oregon built out to an 11-2 lead at one point late in the first half, but it stood up because Cassidy Eckert did things like this with the game on the line. 13 saves on the day, and I thought she was really tremendous in the third and fourth quarter, really keeping this Oregon team in the game. It was great team defense, but it was also backed by an excellent goalkeeping performance. So Cassidy Eckert helping to shut down a very, very potent Colorado attack. The team defense swarming as well, and it all led to a 14-10 win for the Ducks over the Buffs. In the nightcap, not much contest in this one. The Arizona State Sun Devils wire to wire with their big weapons getting in the mix early and often. I mean, name any player, probably got a point on the day. Kaitlin Buckner, Emily Glagolev had two goals on the day. Taylor Pinzone was able to tap in. Carly Adams was all over the place. Goals, assists, and, and when you look at really where this uh, energy started for Arizona State, it was on the draw control and the freshman starter. Uh, being able to get the cap or the tap there and did a lot for her team. Yeah, Bella Ingrao in the draw circle starting for an injured Zoe Mazur really helped get things going. Meanwhile, Arizona State defensively, Katie Valley, of course, in the mix as she always is. And really, Arizona State putting it all together in all phases of the game. As Katie Valley with the scoop, finishing with nine saves on the evening. Put it all together, Arizona State with a 17-8 win over the California Golden Bears. Impressive stuff by each of the winning teams as they both have earned their way into the semifinal round. So with that, the bracket looks like this. Oregon versus Stanford in the first game and the 2-3 matchup, USC versus Arizona State. I think you really have to pay attention to that Arizona State-USC matchup. This Arizona State team is rolling. They're the host school, and they they lost to USC two times this season. Can, can they get the third win? What a day it was today. What will happen on Thursday? Can't wait to bring it to you as the Pac-12 Women's Lacrosse Tournament begins with a bang.